हेलो फ्रेंड्स यू आर अगेन विद रुचि जैन वेलकम टू माय चैनल टू लर्न जर्मन फ्री आई एम अगेन हियर विद अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक व्हिच इज यूजफुल क्लासरूम फ्रेजेस इन जर्मन लैंग्वेज we already know that uh, only learning from the books is uh, does not help we need to understand the questions the format of the questions what is asked if we do not understand the question it will be very difficult for us to answer it correctly so here these useful phrases will help you clearly to understand what is the question so that you can answer the question correctly so are you ready one thing one important thing have you subscribed my channel yet if not please do consider to subscribe it and do not forget to ring the bell to get further notifications do share it with your friends as well so let's start let me share some important information with you all If you want to have the notes of this video then you can just click on the link which is given in the description section in this way you can have the notes quite handy and you can use them when whenever they are required so let's go now this is our first phrase stellen sie sich vor usually asked by our teacher uh, as an introduction stellen sie sich vor which means introduce yourself introduce yourself clear let's go ahead the next one we have here is setzen sie sich you can see here we have used sich in the first slide also we have used um sich what does that mean that's a reflexive pronoun these verbs are reflexive verbs stellen sie sich vor so the verb is sich vorstellen reflexive verb and here also the verb is sich setzen which is also reflexive verb so setzen sie sich which means sit down sit down next one we have here is drehen sie sich um drehen sie sich um that is also reflexive verb um drehen sich umdrehen which means turn around turn around stehen sie auf stehen sie auf aufstehen is the verb brennbar is where separable verb which uh, in which the prefix goes at the end of the sentence and these sentences are all of them are in imperative form that is how we give uh, instructions stand up stehen sie auf stand up passen sie auf auf passen is the verb again trennbar is verb or a separable verb passen sie auf which means pay attention pay attention next one is hören sie gut zu hören sie gut zu this one is also trennbar is verb zu hören zu here and that is the verb and the prefix is zu here which means listen hear pay attention any of the meanings okay either listen hear or pay attention next one we have here is alle zusammen alle zusammen which means all together all together suppose if you are uh, singing a rhyme in german then teacher will instruct you please sing together like that so she may give you this instruction alle zusammen like that next one we have here is machen sie weiter machen sie weiter which means go on go on seien sie ehrlich which means be honest seien sie ehrlich this one you may hear from your teacher when you are giving an exam so teacher want you to be honest while giving the exam not to cheat from others 
Let's go ahead. Ruha bitter or Zayenzi Ruhish bitter, which means quiet, please, or please be quiet. Zayenzi Ruhish bitter, please be quiet. Next one we have here is louder, bitter, louder, bitter. Order, sprechen Sie lauter, bitte. Sprechen Sie lauter, bitte. Louder, please. Please speak louder. Please speak louder, clear? Knock einmal, bitte. Knock einmal, bitte. This phrase can be used by a teacher as well as by the student. Which means once again, please, or one more time, please, or repeat, please. If you do not understand something, you want uh, the teacher should repeat the sentence, then you can ask her, no kind mal bitte. Hmm? Repeat, please. Marking the ear abuser auf. Marking the ear abuser auf. So, the verb here we have used is aufmachen. Aufmachen. That is also Trenbaris verb. Which means open your books, please. Open your books, please. Let's go ahead. Next one we have here is marking the ear abuser zu. Marking the ear abuser zu. Which means close your books, please. Close your books, please. Verstehen Sie? Do you understand? Verstehen Sie? Do you understand? If you want to use du form, then you can use uh, Verstehs du. Do you understand for a single person to whom you are um, saying that? Asking the question. Verstehs du oder Verstehen Sie? Sie can be used for plural as well as singular number but polite way to ask the question. Do you understand? Like that. Next one we have here is Haben Sie alle verstanden? Haben Sie alle verstanden? Which means have you all understood? Have you all understood? It's a very common question. Most of the times we hear in the class. Let's go ahead. Sind Sie fertig? Sind Sie fertig? Are you finished or are you done? Suppose the teacher has given you some uh, work to do or uh, some writing work, whatever. So after a few minutes, she can ask you, Zinzi Fetish, are you done with the homework or with the work which I have given you like that? In that sense, it is used. Next one we have here is Lazenzi then text four. Lazenzi then text four. The verb here again is a friend bar as well. Four lazen. The prefix is at the end of the sentence. Which means read the text aloud. Read the text aloud. Next one is Markin ZB Vida Holum. Bitter. Markin ZB Vida Holum. Bitter. Which means do the revision. Please. Do the revision. Please. I hope this one is clear. Let's go ahead. Control here in Z mit ERM partner. Control here in Z mit ERM partner. Check with your partner. Control here in Z mit ERM partner. Check with your partner. Zamen ZB settle ein. Zamen ZB settle ein. The verb here is ein Zamen. It is also Trenbaris verb. Collect the sleeps or slips of paper or notes. Suppose uh, if there is an activity in the classroom which is being conducted by the teacher, so she may ask you to collect all the sleeps on which you have written something, something. So that is how in that sense it is used. Fatiler the settle. Fatiler the settle. 
which means distribute the papers or distribute the notes or distribute the slips of paper. Next one we have here is Formulier in D, Ratschläger. Formulier in D, Ratschläger. Formulate advices. Formulate advices. Next one we have here is Valency ein Thema. Valency ein Thema. Choose a topic. Choose a theme or choose a topic. Begründenzi, Begründenzi, explain, explain. Next one we have is Beschreibenzi, Beschreibenzi, which means describe, please, describe. Bücher weg, Bücher weg, books away. Whenever, like before the start of the exam, maybe your teacher, um, you she can ask you to keep your books away. So that is how she will instruct you. Bücher weg. Next one is you're in Z. Listen, you're in Z. Listen. Lays in Z. Read. Lays in Z. Read. Schreibe in Z. Schreibe in Z. Write. Notiere in Z. Notiere in Z. Note down or write down. Berichten Z. Order erzählen Z. Order sprechen Z. So quite commonly you will uh, hear these kind of uh, phrases in the class. Berichten Sie, erzählen Sie oder sprechen Sie. Even in the books, course books as well. Uh, you will see, or you will read these kind of phrases. So it's important to understand what does that exactly mean. So berichten, to report. Report, tell or speak. Ergänzen Sie, very commonly used phrase. Ergänzen Sie which means complete or add or fill out. Next one we have here is Unterstreichen Z. Underline. Unterstreichen Z. Underline. Mark here in Z. Mark here in Z. To mark or to highlight. So mark or highlight. Kreuzen Sie an. Kreuzen Sie an. The verb is an kreuzen. Mark or check. Like you have given the boxes and you have to cross them. That is usually at that time they use this verb or this phrase. An kreuzen. Kreuzen Sie an. Ordnen Sie zu. The verb is zu ordnen. Fenbar is Ordnen Sie zu, which means assign, allocate, or associate, or match together. When there is a table and you have to match from first column to second column. So at that time, usually in that situation, this phrase is used. Ordnen Sie zu. Arbeiten Sie zu zweit. Arbeiten Sie zu zweit. What does that mean? Work in pairs. Work in pairs of two kind of two tried. Arbeiten Sie zu dritt. Arbeiten Sie zu dritt. Work in a group of three. So whenever a group activity is there in the class, they usually this phrase is being used by the teacher. Or maybe this phrase is very commonly you can find in the books as well. Arbeiten Sie zu to dritt order arbeiten sie zu viert like that work in a group of three stellen sie ihre fragen stellen sie ihre fragen ask your questions spielen sie den dialog vor again here the verb is vorspielen spielen sie den dialog vor 
play the dialogue play the dialogue that's the meaning inform your in z d and the in in their group inform your in z d and the in in their group when there is a group activity then it is you are being asked to do that let others in the group know let others in the group know verbinden sie verbinden sie connect connect binden sie setze binden sie setze make sentences make sentences Zen is the builder. An Zen is the builder. An the verb here is an Zen. An Zen. Look at the pictures. Probier in the as zelst. Probier in the as zelst. Try it yourself. Try it yourself. Vergleichen Sie. Vergleichen Sie. Compare. Ich verstehe das nicht. Now, this one phrase is for the student. They can ask if they do not understand something in the class, then they can raise it their hands and uh, they can ask this question. Uh, they can say that I am not able to understand. I do not understand that. So, will you please repeat it like that? So, ich verstehe das nicht. Next one is das habe ich nicht verstanden. So the first one was in uh, present tense and this one is in perfect tense. Das habe ich nicht verstanden, which means that I have not understood or I have not understood that. Is das richtig? Is that correct? If you are in doubtful situation for something, then you can ask your teacher, is that correct? Is das richtig? Wie sagt man das auf Deutsch? How a uh, person says or how, you, how do you say that in German, if you do not know what do we call uh, something in German, so you can ask this question like this wie sagt man das auf deutsch how do you say or how does one say that in german wie heißt pencil auf deutsch what do we call pencil in german that is how you can ask so for something translation in german können sie das wiederholen bitte can you please repeat it? Can you please repeat it? Like we have done that no kind mal bitter. That is also uh, the same thing. How do you write that? How do you write that? That is also for the student. This phrase is also for the student when he wants to ask how to write that something. Entschuldigung, ich habe eine Frage. Excuse me, I have a question. Excuse me, I have a question. Thank you very much for watching my video till end. I am uh, pretty sure that this video is extremely helpful for you to understand the instructions in the classroom or uh, uh, in the books uh, there are many times you do not understand the question question correctly and that is why you cannot answer it properly so these phrases will be extremely helpful for you to understand first the instruction or the question or the write-ups uh, for you and uh, it will be very easy then for you to go ahead with the answers and do it correctly if you have not subscribed my channel yet, please do consider to subscribe it. And do not forget to ring the bell to get further notifications for my new videos. Do share it with your friends uh, who want to learn German. Thank you very much once again. Danke. Auf Wiedersehen. Tschüss. Bis bald.